What's going on guys? Do it yourself Andrew Flockhart and today I am transforming this interior from this to this. First impressions here guys, they look like they're really high quality. Um, they all look like they're basically just one piece, which I really like, so that they're gonna look more or less factory. I'm really excited to get these on the seats though and see how they look. First thing I'm gonna do here guys, I'm gonna take the headrest off. So these headrests are not the easiest things to take off. First thing you do is there's a button on the side here, you're gonna click that, push it up, and then the things at the bottom, you're gonna unscrew counterclockwise. And then when you're looking underneath here, you'll see a silver pin. It's going to be a circle looking thing on it. You're going to push that to the side and that's going to unclip this headrest and allow it to come up. They are fit for this specific vehicle. They're not just those generic uh, seat covers that look nice on the pictures, but then when you get them, they're just generic and they don't fit properly. These are specifically made for this vehicle. So if you guys are like me and have never put seat covers on before, I had a hard time trying to figure out what these were doing. I thought that these were gonna go through the seat and then uh, meet up with the front. Because we have these clips in the front, but after some diagnosing, I believe these clips just go straight through to the back and then they turn. So you slide them in just like this and then they flip up so then they catch and then they're just hold, like holding on just like this so that they're not gonna go forward and keeping it nice and tight. So all these clips, so these clips are just gonna go all the way through and then they're just gonna catch on something underneath and that's it. That's gonna keep it nice and tight. And that's all you have to do. Super simple. And once you get the seat cover on, you're gonna wanna, so you see how there's a bit of a ridge here and it's not sitting in there nicely. All you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna push that in until you can get it out of the way. And then you're not gonna be able to see that ridge anymore and it's gonna look basically factory. So once you have the head cover in place, obviously there's some holes here where the headrests uh, go back into place. And the nice thing is these covers, once they're screwed into place, to keep everything nice and tight and you can't even see that there's holes there. And for the head covers, you can see that this button obviously isn't sitting perfectly in there. So all you're gonna wanna do is fish the edges of it, this around so that the cover is outside and then it looks perfect. So this uh, passenger seat as well as the driver's seat it's pretty straightforward. You've got those clips that I was mentioning before. So they're just gonna swing underneath and they're gonna catch something. And then you've got these on the back, which are going to be going through the bottom of the seat and then clipping like I showed you guys on the other side. And then you've got this buckle that's gonna be going through the sides of the seat and then underneath and then connecting underneath. So for these buckles on the side, there's a very specific spot that you're gonna wanna thread these through. As if you thread them through around the side, you're gonna get this you know, you're gonna have this strap on the outside. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fish it through between the plastic and the seat itself. And then you're gonna be able to go underneath the seat and you're gonna be able to fish it around and match up with the other side. And on this side, what I made the mistake of was going around that plastic piece here. You're actually gonna to wanna to go underneath this plastic piece right through there because then this seam is gonna be hidden between the plastic just like the factory seat does. So I've got the seat in place. The only thing left to do is to make sure that this seam is set it in there nicely so that it looks like it's part of the factory. Just like so. It's really nice because obviously this is two pieces, but it does sit in here really nicely. Unless you're really looking, you can't tell that there's a seam there just from looking back. Looking at the stuff that I that came with the box, it looks like it just comes with the passenger and the driver's one. Um, since I do have the custom edition, it does have this extra seat within the middle. Um, it doesn't look like it has a cover for that middle seat. Um, but once I put this down, I mean, you don't really, I don't really use the middle seat much anyway, so I just have the console. So, I mean, look at the front guys, like that looks unreal.
So if you guys have not taken off these back headrests, they're much easier to do than the front headrests. All you gotta do is, Chevy did a, had a great idea because obviously these are too high to pop out. They're gonna hit the ceiling. So what you do is you push this, it folds forward, and then you've got two buttons, one on this side here, one there, and then you click them both at the same time, and then you just pull it up. And these headrests for the back are the same as what the idea for the front. You just want to make sure that you line up the hole with the button on the side. You've got the Velcro, same Velcro style. I'm going to throw that over top. Again, I'm going to make this as tight as I can. And then you've got the button on the side that's not through the hole yet. And all you're going to want to do is push that around like so. And you don't even know the hole's there, just like so. So I've hit a bit of an impasse, guys. Um, I was worried about this when I did get these, but these back covers um, that go on the backrest, they require these back seats to be folded down. Um, all the hooks and everything makes sense, but I can't, you can't get your hand behind here because there's nothing there. Um, and I can't, there's no way for the custom to be able to fold these seats down. Um, these, uh, the seat ones worked fine, no issues whatsoever. But for me to get this cover on the backrest is going to require me to completely take out these back seats, put the cover on the back seats, and then reinstall these back seats. So I'm at a bit of an impasse. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with taking these seats out in order to put this on. I think I probably will. Um, I just, I have to, yeah, a little more than I bargained for today, unfortunately. So after some contemplating, I did decide to take the back seat off. So I'm just in the process of doing that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys, you need to take these out in order to get this back seat off. There is a little clip in here and you can slide your flathead screwdriver in here. And all you do is you pull it a little bit while pulling up with a pry tool. So, find where the clip is, pull it a little bit, and it just pops right up, just like that. So once you have all the headrests out from the top, you're gonna to wanna to take out these 10 mil bolts. You can see one just in there. Uh, there's four of them. You're gonna take through all four of them out, and then we're gonna to go to the top. So I got the back seat out. Um, once you get into the top, it's really hard to see from the top, but there's these clips. And what I did was you can grab a flat flathead or something. You pop this up like so, and that'll release the seats. So there's three of them. You've got these top brackets and they're always just to the left. So there's three of those. And then once you pop those out, after getting the 10 mil bolts, those four of them down low, you can pop this back rest right out. Not the most ideal thing to get some seat covers on, but wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. The beautiful thing now is though, is that now that I have the seats out, putting the seat cover on this is gonna be extremely easy. So let's get to it. So in order to get this on the side here, the only way I can see, cause there's nothing metal back here, it's all foam. So the only way I can see is to put these clips actually into the foam themselves. I mean, it's not gonna hurt your seats or anything, so whatever, and you're never gonna see it, but there's nothing to hook onto otherwise, so that's kind of your only option. But once you get the clips, this is really easy. You just pop the clips from the bottom, over the top, and clipping them on. So the way I'm bringing these seats in, is I'm bringing it with the clips up, just to make sure that I don't wreck the uh, seat covers below. And then I'm gonna flip it over, obviously making sure to get the seat belt around the front side of it. So it took some fiddling to actually get these seats in place. I had some of the back straps that were actually covering the uh, metal pieces that the clips uh, went into. So just make sure that those are out of the way while you're installing it. And you just want to ensure that you get those four 10 mil bolts back in place as well as getting those headrest slots 
back in place. They're pretty easy to reinstall. All you do is you put them in place and then you push firmly down on them until they click. So it honestly wasn't too bad getting this back seat out. Um, obviously there's a still a little bit of wiggle room in here. So I'm just gonna be playing with the sides, make sure to get everything nice and snug and try to get it around the corners and such. You really can't get around this seat, obviously for you know, obvious reasons that I you know, had to pull the whole thing out. But uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit, try to get it a little bit tighter on here. And then uh, I'll show you guys the final product. All right, guys, so my final thoughts, I absolutely am in love with these front seats. I think they look outstanding. They look totally factory. You honestly would not know that they are seat covers. The stitching, the white stitching on it, they did a fabulous job. It's a beautiful accent for this truck. It is way better than the cloth seats that were in here previously. Now the back seats. I am not as big of a fan of the back seats. Uh, I couldn't get this to get much tighter than this. The way that the headrest goes in uh, and where the holes are, I couldn't get this to go up any farther unless I was to start ripping and cutting, um, which I mean, maybe I'll do in the future, but um, I'm not a huge fan of the way this side seat looks. The way that the straps go in here, I can't figure out a way that I can get this part right in here to be pulled down and to be flush with where the factory seats would be. Um, overall though i mean like they they definitely look way better than the factory seats and the cloth seats so i am happy just by looking at them first glance you'd be like wow these are incredible overall guys i'm really happy with these seats um i think that custom interior could have done some better designing with these back seats i know for such as the fords and i believe the dodges as well their back seats fold down and i know even the older chevys i believe they fold down as well but these newer chevys they don't the seats don't fold down and for someone some regular person to have to pull out these back seats in order to get this cover on not ideal but overall i mean they still look great and i'm really happy with them i wish the seat covers could have been pulled a little bit closer and as well as that back but honestly like i couldn't ask for more with the front seats absolutely buy these seat covers i really like the fact that they have a pocket in the back it seems like something simple but my seats didn't have pockets in the back before so now i have a pocket in the back which i'm kind of stoked about overall i'm really happy with these seats i think they make this truck stand out and when people get into this truck they're gonna be wow the interior looks awesome especially it's a huge upgrade from the custom trim those cloth seats are just kind of meh but i want to put a big thank you out to custom interiors for sending me these seat covers i really like them and i am happy with them overall uh i should have bought these sooner uh, i really like them so i think it really spiffs up the interior of this vehicle anyways guys thanks for watching if you aren't subscribed already please consider doing so until next time take care